Investigators are unsure of the details, much less any kind of motive. What they do know at this hour, three people are dead, including one gunman. Reporting live for Eyewitness News 7, I'm Miranda Shaw. Brian? Like she wanted you, like she asked for it. I didn't do nothing to that little girl. You paint it however you want, but I ain't a fucking perv, all right? I done some bad shit, but nothing like that. I ain't a monster. It wasn't me. You gotta believe me. You sure you don't want a male detective in here to help you out? So why are we here, sweet cheeks? You wanna give me a cavity search? I know I'm not your type, Dale. Being a woman and all. What the hell are you talking about? I'm saying, being a woman isn't really your thing, is it? Oh, you take that back. I love women. Especially when they stay quiet. What about little girls? They fair game too? I don't anything about that stupid little girl. What girl, Dale? Who do you mean? Why are you lying to me, Jay? When you first came in here, you said you knew Amy. Now you don't? Nope. Don't know better than anybody else here. Everybody knows everybody's business. What do you know about Amy's business? Either you're lying to me, or you think I'm stupid. Am I stupid? God, Liv, it was creepy. Do you know anything about her past? Did she have a rough childhood, or did she ever mention anything happening to her in high school? Not to me. She spent most of the time talking to herself and telling somebody to shut up. She's a total schizo. No, I don't think she was. If she were delusional or paranoid schizophrenic, she would be seeing things that you and I don't. She would think the world was against her, or at least someone specific was. It sounds like instead that she's suffering from disassociative identity disorder, manifesting itself in two or more distinct personality identities. That's why each personality has a unique name and characteristic. You need to look into your witness, Flynn. She's probably gonna be hiding some terribly dark secrets for you to uncover. This doesn't make sense. What? His, his victim, she doesn't add up. What doesn't add up? Why would he pick this girl for his final attack and then vanish? All of his notes say that Lindsay was confident and outspoken. He has notes for years of consistent behavior. It's not like this was something new. What are you thinking, Wheeler? If he wanted this to be kept quiet, he wouldn't have chosen someone outspoken and confident. He would have chosen someone mousy, someone that he could control, that would keep their mouth shut because they're too afraid to say anything. He wanted to be caught. He wanted me to find him. What the hell are you even doing here? You don't give a shit about me. You never have, you piece of shit. I'm trying to get you to. Shut up. I can handle it. No, you can't, Mom. You can't. Why don't you fucking tell me what I can and can't do? The fuck do you think you are? Your son, I can't lose you again. I love you. This isn't me. This isn't who I am. I don't know how this happened to me. Thank you.